All right, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is Earthmaster here checking in on the live stream on this Tuesday. Beautiful Tuesday, June 8th, 2021, about 7.13 p.m. West Coast time here in California. The latest quake out here on the globe is going to be a 2.8 up here in the Alaska region. You can see that right there in that green flag. Quite the uptick in earthquake activity, pretty much all around the globe. To uh, to be to be blunt, uh, West Coast getting in on quite a bit of action down there, of course, in Southern California, uh, and quite a bit of movement over here in Chile region. Uh, I think the big story, though, um, uh, I mean, there's pretty much a big story all over the place. If you really look at the globe, all along the Pacific Rim, over here along the Western Pacific. And Puerto Rico over here getting in on quite the amount of swarming going on right there. I want to check out some specifics in that uh, earthquake swarming going on. On the latest information here from the uh, folks at the USGS there, right? What would we do without them, right? <clears throat> that was the joke of the day. Okay, so about, about 12 earthquakes or so within this region. And it, unfortunately, unfortunately... It's not in a good spot here, folks. This area scares the heck out of me because I did a video update uh, a few months back. I don't know how long back about the Puerto Rico Trench mega quake possibility. Okay, and I will just for the heck of it include it at the end of this video as uh, you know what to watch next here on this channel. So make sure if you watch all of this video. Uh, to look for this link here. I go into a little bit more detail into the specific dynamics of the plate tectonic boundaries here and the potential mega quake possibility for the Puerto Rico area. And this here scares me because for the most part, most swarming activity that we have seen has taken place down there in the southwest corner. Um, Man, I hope this thing is working okay. I'm getting a little encoding uh, overload, and I'm not for sure why. Uh, we'll see how this video turns out. But most of the time, we're looking at potential swarming down here in the southwest area of Puerto Rico. Okay, Look at this activity that's taking place up here. Let's go back the last seven days, all magnitudes. Not a whole lot more. Okay, Not a whole lot more in this area. So most of it has taken place within the last 24 hours. We're looking at quite a few uh, threes, upper four, uh, lower fours, um, and it's a little concerning, folks, because this is a subduction zone area. The Puerto Rico Trench area uh, has the potential to produce some uh, mega quakes down there. Um, and look, it's right there, right smack dab at the trench area, and some of these depths here are kind of scary as well. We're looking at 107 kilometers for one of those deeper ones there. And some 77 kilometers, 35, 23, 96. We're looking at some very deep movement in the Puerto Rico trench area. Um, and this is not good. Uh, it, this is an area to pay very, very close attention to this region right here. Okay. I'm not going to go into full details on everything that I explained in the video. If you want to know more, Check it out at the end of this video uh, for that link. West Coast, what's going on out there? Texas, real quick, let me check here in Texas. Definitely not the West Coast. Pecos, Texas area getting in on some uh, earthquake activity. Once again, some microquakes and uh, well, not so much microquakes there. 2.8 popping up there once again. Just, uh, just been doing its thing, you know, popping off earthquakes here and there. Uh, Southern California area. Still looking at seismically increasing uh, activity around the Salton Sea area. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Look at specifics of these earthquakes here. We're looking at about 25 earthquakes or so within this region. If you want to be very specific in how many we've seen over the last week, uh, and most of them were only uh, after that 5, or uh, what was that, that 5.3 that struck? Yes. 1,175 earthquakes. Okay, that's a pretty significant number. And they were stretching up, man. Were they stretching up towards that San Andreas Fault Zone? You can see it more specifically on... I don't know why that freaking fault, fault line disappears there. But, uh, man, I tell you what. That uh, 
getting pretty close here to the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. See that within about uh, oh, a couple miles or so. So within the last day, let's check it out here. Within the last day, only about 25 earthquakes. So things are subsiding a little bit. They're calming down a tad bit in the terms of, um, you know, swarming. But there's still general earthquake activity taking place here. And it's at uh, variable depths and variable magnitudes. Most of this is microquake earthquake activity. But uh, nonetheless, still earthquake activity taking place along the uh, Brawley Seismic Zone, which is an extensional fault of the San Andreas Fault Zone up here. So still keep an eye on that, folks. Even though things may be calming down, um, all it takes is just a, a quick... Uh, a quick uh, Oh, I don't know. A quick area down here getting uh, locked up and producing more uh, pr back building pressure up here along this area of the uh, of the plate. It's all one in the same. Well, not one in the same, but uh, it's all got a connection here. Let's go ahead and check out uh, Ridgecrest area looking kind of quiet down here. A couple small microquakes and uh, right around the Long Valley Super Volcano. Tonopah, Nevada, northwest of Tonopah getting in on some action as well. Small little microquake near Pinnacles, uh, east of the uh, uh, San Andreas Fault Pine Rock Fault section. It's the creeping area of the San Andreas Fault. A little earthquake up here in Northern California. Uh, northeast of Willows area, west of the Sacramento, or the uh, west of the um, uh, the river. I can't remember the name, Sacramento River. Uh, brain farts, holy smokes. Uh, <laughs> Way up there, and this could have a good possibility of uh, some uh, water issues going on. We got some wells driving drying up up here in this region around the Orland area and vicinities of the orchards. Lots of orchards up here, so lots of water needs to be pumped out of the ground, uh, and that's what we're looking at. A lot of wells drying up. So some of these earthquakes could be um, consistent with. Uh, um, lack of water in the ground pressure building up creating that um that earthquake activity down below but looking at these uh depths here it's kind of deeper than that it's way deeper 20 kilometers for uh those earthquakes right there so just kind of keep an eye on it but you know drawing out all that water out of the ground is definitely going to be doing something here pretty soon we're going to see that more active uh what else we got here folks um let's go ahead and zoom up here to the northwest and then we talked about mount hood that earthquake swarm that's going on right now just about 10 earthquakes or so within the last 24 hours so activity still continuing let's go ahead and check out the um, seven days all magnitudes and there's quite the swarm 110 earthquakes there at mount hood and it's all roughly within about the same area 3,000 feet is the scale right here so we're looking at six, seven, maybe 9,000 feet drawn out. Uh, kind of stretching up here towards the summit. It's definitely something to pay attention to. Uh, the USGS folks are saying this is consistent with past swarming. And it's not magma uh, or, or uh, any type of volcanic tremor taking place there. It's purely plate tectonic in nature. And when I look at some of the maps there on the PNSN uh, network, I see... Uh, pretty, I, I pretty much agree with what they're stating. We can check that out real quick here before we go into the, uh, well, let's go ahead and check it out. Zero epicenters along the Cascadia. Once again, folks, we're looking at a stretch of activity of no trimmer, no slippage. That could be bad. So no slippage equals, well, what do you think? More pressure up here. Um, let's go up here to the Mount Hood area. And we'll take a look at that activity taking place there. Quite a bit here within the last two hours of Mount Hood. And uh, you can see that swarming activity continue. Last time I checked this seismograph station in the update, it was squashed out. Squashed out meaning that it was not picking up anything. Uh, anything at all. Let's go back to the other day. Um, holy smokes, what's going on here? Something. Okay, see? Check that out. They've Maybe they were listening to me. Remember when we did that update uh, a couple nights ago? We talked about the uh, activity that we could not see. It was squashed out. There, I mean, the lines are so... The sensitivity is so... Um, 
I shouldn't say sensitive, but not sensitive, that is barely picking up locally a 2.6. Look at that. Barely a little bitty dot of a speck of an activity. I mean, it's not good. So there's no way you could see any type of microquake activity taking place there. But it looks like they may have adjusted it accordingly. Which is obviously kind of strange. Maybe they maybe they heard me. Maybe the USGS is watching. Um, but this activity in general looks odd. Uh, it does not look localized. These quakes right here are localized. The red quakes uh, right there and the blue quake in the sharp category. Sharp meaning uh, distinct a spike of activity. Not this drawn out wavy earthquake activity. I'm not for sure what that is. It could be earthquake activity, but a little bit further away or a little bit deeper. The deeper the earthquake, the further away the earthquake, that's kind of what it will look like. This right here, kind of interesting. Um, this here as well. Uh, potentially harmonic tremor or volcanic movement could look like something like this. Uh, and then again, it could be interference, but uh, kind of keeping an eye on some of this activity right there. Going over here to the next day, you can see uh, you can see some of that activity still. See, this is what I'm talking about. This long duration of movement or activity, and it's not strong, not showing up very strongly, but it's still there on the graphs. But I'm very glad, very thankful that they cranked up their sensitivity. No doubt, uh, another localized earthquake right there. See this? See this movement right there? It's something to watch. Harmonic tremor is going to be a little different, I believe, but it's this this activity is still interesting nonetheless because it's picking up something uh, that's going on nearby. Um, so within the past couple hours, yeah, a couple small microquakes there. I believe, I believe the swarming that's going on there is a. Uh, viewable in this map but uh i think i think they're very light i think that's what we're seeing right here some of this lighter earthquake activity not showing up too strongly uh let's go ahead and check out um a little bit uh, a little different seismograph station nearby if we can i wish there was one right around here but there's not so the next closest one see if we can get this one up here this three component broadband station to kick up do 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 hello i have the fastest internet connection there is okay well not the fastest Wow, what in the heck is this? I'm not for sure what that is, folks. Maybe, 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 just maybe that is oversensitized. It's kind of odd looking. It's very odd looking. See the graphs, it's all kind of messed up and crooked and something's going on there. It's kind of weird. But this stuff in between here, see this stuff? If you can make out that red line, look in the background above this, the static of junk see that red sp splurt more red sp splurts up here in the background up here black black uh areas right down here that's something to watch out man uh, that's something to watch for um because it kind of looks like some volcanic activity going on there to be honest Going back even further to the day before. Yeah, there's... Man. There's definitely some interesting activity here, folks. I'm going to be watching this pretty closely. Um, but I can't be for certain. I can't be 100% certain of, of if that's completely volcanic activity taking place here. But it's something being picked up. On not just one, but two seismograph stations there at Mount Hood. So whatever's taking place is happening because it's being picked up. So we will keep a very, very close eye on it. Uh, Mount Rainier 
calming down. I don't see too much earthquake activity, of course, there on the map. Let's check out the uh, seismograph station there from uh, Mount Rainier in Washington. And that's... <laughs> That is over, overdoing it, folks. That's overdoing it. That's picking up pretty much ants crawling on the ground. I mean, really. That's just, come on. <laughs> That's like literally if there was a roly-poly walking on the ground, you'd be able to pick it up on the seismograph station. I'm not even joking. That's too much, guys. USGS, that's too much. So you can't even see anything. It's If there was something happening, it wouldn't even show up. So this is overdoing it. Not for sure why that's like that, but it is. So just, man, just stay alert, folks. Still think West Coast, but more likely now uh, that I'm looking at things, this area down here in the Puerto Rico area is uh, kind of scary. As I mentioned, it's kind of scary in the subduction zone of the Puerto Rico Trench. Make a quick possibility exist down here. And that's not a good sign uh, for that area. If you really think about it, that, no doubt could produce a tsunami, which could reach parts of the eastern uh, United States, and not only there, but uh, other areas down there, uh, Puerto Rico and the uh, Dominican Republic area. I hope that's not the case. I definitely do, but there's a definitely a swarm of activity that we haven't seen there. Uh, in the Puerto Rico trench area in quite some time. Uh, Hawaii, a little bit of movement around the under underwater volcano. The the uh, where'd it go? Lohi Seamount. A couple of small quakes down there, stretching off the southeast flank as well, up around the uh, Kilauea volcano. Seen some earthquake activity in the rim. No major movement to report in that area at the moment. Uh, Japan seeing a little bit of earthquake activity around uh, the southeast area off the coast. Japan Trench. Pretty shallow earthquake there at 10 kilometers for that 5.3. Indonesia area seeing a, a couple of small earthquakes. Small meaning, you know, 5.3 or so. These guys are used to these five pointers. Maybe that's where I need to go to uh, experience an earthquake. <laughs> Uh, Papua New Guinea area looking at a 5.7, almost a six pointer. There's some deep movement going on there in Papua uh, New Guinea, northwest of the Solomon Islands. A little swarm of earthquake activity in this area. Uh, so just be alert, folks. Be alert, West Coast. Lighten up like a firecracker, no doubt. And of course, Puerto Rico area. Check for the live or the uh, um, link to the video. Uh, should be starting right now. Um, because it's normally about 20 or 30 seconds into it. Yellowstone, pretty quiet. So, all right, folks, have a good night. We will chat you a little bit later. Stay safe out there. Peace out.